my friends, and welcome back to another episode from MTD North America. I am at Apex here in Arizona, the leaders in aftermarket triggers for pistols. I'm with my buddy Scott, and we're going to learn a little bit more about how Kiwa has helped them produce more parts in the same amount of time and run lights out with two shifts. So Scott, thank you so much for being a part of this publication from MTD. Happy to be here, man. Thank you. Scott, you're a good dude. Um, you have so many great stories here at Apex, and I know that you guys are some domestic and a little bit global leaders as well when it comes to these triggers, and you make so many parts in a 24-hour period, so many parts in a year, but it's always important to figure out how to do more in that same amount of time, and this Kiwa has kind of helped you with that, right? Absolutely. So what process did you go through previous, and what are you doing now to create the amount of parts that you're producing? Well, um, before we had the Kiwas, uh, the horizontals, we were running these in a vertical mill, and we were actually running um, four at a time in a double vise, you know, two per jaw, and they, they ran fine. They ran, they ran well, uh, but we started talking about wanting to change it up a little bit, get into more manufacturing, more parts, uh, more, more throughput. Uh, we had guys in here 10 hours a day and running nonstop. They kept the, the, the two machines busy, op one and op two, and the bandsaw cutting blanks, and it was just like, ah, oh, we got to do something, man. So. For us, we started looking into pallet swap machines. So we're basically getting another vertical with a, with a pallet changer on it. And we decided, yeah, let's look at that. So we reached out to Methods, talked to them a little bit, and a few other companies as well, sent out the specs. Hey, quote me this. Have a nice day. Come back to you with a number. And uh, our guy from Methods came back in and said, hey, um, I quoted you what you wanted, but I think you should look at this. And I'm like, mm, okay, salesman, right? <laughs> well, he's like, have you looked at a horizontal? And of course, I'm going, well, no, not really. I never really considered them. But he comes in and he goes, look, in a horizontal, you got a fully integrated fourth axis, you got a fully integrated uh, the pallet swap system. It's all one machine. If anything's wrong, you call one person. You don't have to call two companies. So it makes a lot of sense. It's like, okay. And so we started talking about that, looking at that more. It's like, yeah, that really does make a lot of sense. So we ended up getting the, uh, the KMH 300, and it's a 300 millimeter uh, horizontal with just a, with a pallet swap, so two pallets back and mm -hmm. forth. Don't, didn't, get, didn't get a pallet pool, didn't have the space for it, at least in our brains at that time. Uh, so we went ahead and just went with the, with the two pallet. Uh, but what we were able to load out on this thing is we were able to load 48 parts on a tombstone. And that tombstone runs for like three and a half hours. And so I got two tombstones running for seven hours. Well, with our current two shift setup, where you're here until midnight. The guys come in at 6 a.m. So this machine runs for an hour and a half once the guys get here. And so now we're up and running nonstop. You know, so we're just able to keep this thing running 24 hours a day. We stopped it right now uh, so we could do this. But other than that, this thing runs nonstop. And we cannot make these triggers and trigger bars fast enough. Uh, so this is really, this is the way to do it. Like, uh, this is want more, going to have more. Right. So uh, this is working great. Well, you mentioned, you know, how you run this 24 hours a day kind of a thing. And we'll let you get back to that as soon as we're done with this video. <laughs> I won't keep you too much longer. Your testimony is perfect for what we do. But what I want to ask you is, you've been able to do more work on the two shifts with a little bit of where no one's gonna be here kind of a thing, right? And you're able to keep the machine running. But something else I wanna talk about that people don't recognize, oftentimes with the same amount of people employed, you're able to produce equal amount, double, triple amount of parts going out per 24 hour period, right? In some cases, yeah. Uh, it depends on just keeping the machines up makes a big difference. Uh, if I can get the op ones run and I can get the op two somewhere else, or if I can do con uh, concurrent operations, even better. But really, it's a, for us, our industry has exploded in the last year. Uh, doubled work in a lot of cases, tripled in some cases. So trying to keep up with that's been really rough. Uh, we've added some machines. We've tried to add staff. It's been really hard hiring, finding people who are willing to work, let alone uh, you know qualified. But uh, a lot of it's letting the machines do more work and keeping the guys here running whatever they can without putting a lot more burden on them. So it's letting the machine do most of it. And that's where we have the biggest benefit. Yeah, it's really about that uptime, isn't it? And, and having the... the Anyone who's here multitask on several machines while another machine is running. Absolutely, multiple multitask. I got one guy running two uh, horizontals currently. And then something else you mentioned going from a vertical to a horizontal was chips, right? The way the chips flow, was that an added benefit as well going to horizontal? Yeah, it was. Uh, on the verticals, of course, your chips are gravity. And they, they fall straight down. And so your coolant's required to blow it all away. Well, in the horizontal, I don't have that problem because gravity's pulling most of the chips away. Yeah, they can pile up at the bottom or pile on top of a part but there's not as much chip issue. So it's a more better chip control in this case. Uh, so the coolant's able to wash it away. And again, more parts, less worry. If I end up with a pile of chips around a part and the cutter comes in, you can blow stuff up. So it, really it was the way to go. Yeah, it really sounds like it. And again, I know the methods guys really support you. So for them to go try this out, this was your first horizontal, if I'm not mistaken, right? This, yes. this Kiwa is in your building 
your first horizontal. So was it difficult to grasp the idea of going to horizontal? Or were you able to jump into it fairly quickly for someone who out there who might go, well, I'm a little bit scared or fearful of jumping into something new. Was it easy for you or did you find some complexity to it? It was relatively easy. Um, really, the operators are the, are the key to that. Um, the programmers, they can program whatever they want to program, but it's the operator just having the competency to understand what's where. Um, it it's, took a little bit, but it didn't take these guys much. Most of my operators are well skilled at four axis and five axis work anyway, so for them it was just, yeah, just that machine, no big deal. Uh, it wasn't a big switchover, and it's a standard FANUC controller, so it wasn't nothing difficult for these guys. They just jump right onto it and go for it, so made a big well, deal. Well, it's great to know you're a mind reader as well, because the next question was going to be about the interface <laughs> of it, which is FANUC. Um, and I know you have some robo drills and some other machines here that same software. Yeah. So you were able to incorporate that right away. It made it real easy to make the changeover. Awesome. And would you recommend Kiwa to some of the other people out there kind of trying to decide between the three axis vertical or a five axis mill or a horizontal? Do you think a horizontal machine is a good way to go? I, I think so. Horizontal really is, it really makes a big difference for us. Again, because I can run, swap the pallets and run twice as many parts. No matter what you're doing, you can run twice the parts in one cycle. So it makes a big difference. Um, I, I think that's the way to go. And you know, you've always heard the axiom before too, once you go horizontal, you don't want to go back, right? <laughs> and that's, that's how it goes. I, now I've got two, I'm like, mm, can I get more? <laughs> and will you ever decide, you mentioned earlier, the possibility of a pallet pool of some sort, but not really necessary with the three and a half hour cycle time, seven hours total. You know, you're running lights out at the moment anyway, but do you foresee maybe a pallet pool with some sort of automation to that as well and kind of um, having one person run all the machines with a couple of small setups. Oh, absolutely. If I can get more pallets, I will. I just, um, I think the next one would be a larger pallet machine, more pallets, six, eight, whatever we can get to it and really just keep it cranking. And here at Apex, you've already said you're really growing and expanding. Yes. What size building are we in now? And I believe you've already shared that you're outgrowing it. So maybe when you outgrow the building, you'll look at that pallet pool as well. That's where we're going with it, yeah. Um, we're in a 50,000 square foot building now. Uh, we came from a 8,000 square foot in three buildings in California. So we made a really big jump in the last five years since we made our move. Yeah, I was just saying, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's only been four or five years mm -hmm. since that move, and you're already ready to move again because business is doing yeah. so well. I'm not quite ready yet, but I'm already thinking that far ahead because it'll take a while. I was, you know, somebody told me not too long ago, if you're not thinking 10 years ahead, you're falling behind. Absolutely. If you don't grow, you die. Yeah. And so my plan is constant growth, or we just stagnate and die. Well, keep up the good work here at Apex, Scott. You're an amazing person, and thank you so much for being a part of MTD North America. Thanks.